y'all can see we're working on clipper today we're going to get the cab lights on probably going to go ahead and put the other seats in out of the van today and run them in this truck until we get the van going then put them back in the van and going to do something different in here in here in in here but uh let me show y'all something i just noticed i knew it was leaking a little antifreeze hitter core because it's been fogging up the windows let me show y'all what i just noticed when i parked here switch it around yeah look at the green that'd be antifreeze coming out of the floorboard hitter core is leaking but we're gonna have to address that today too Clipper's always been a transgender bleeder, so it didn't matter, you know. He, she, whatever it is, it, it, it is what it is, you know. So hood raised over here in the hood. Yeah, we got a, let's see, got a heater core right here, right there. Let's see what we can do with these lines. I guess we can take this line loose and just tie it in here. Right there, right there, but we're gonna have to let her set a little bit. And while it's cooling down or whatever. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's leaking. Okay. I'm not sure y'all can see it right there. But that is wet. Where it's actually coming out where the wiring harness goes into the firewall there. And running down. So yeah, we're going to do away with the heater cord and we get it changed out. I mean, it's summertime. We don't need it. But just let y'all know, this truck don't even have an air conditioner. Not even a compressor on the motor. So we could put one on there right here, but it don't have one. So uh, yeah, we're going to do the cab lights and the seats out of the old van and take care of that. Can't have my truck just really going around leaking everywhere. I mean, what kind of crap is that? Yeah. Let's get to it, y'all. If you don't tote. Let's go over here in the shop. Get it unlocked. Get the doors open. We get to the tools. I parked out there in the shade. Looking up, watching for wasps. We don't like them. Find the key. Hell, can't even find the key. Alrighty, got the door open, found the key, all that good stuff. Checking the ceiling for walls, guys, when I walk in there. You know, then they don't get along too well. Still got Tyler's tie hole in here. Well, as y'all seen in the last video, we got the tran transmission out. Gotta be careful about saying tranny, you know, somebody might get offended. But we got transmission out, all that good stuff. Now I'm just waiting on him to... Put it back in, or get one to put back in, or sell it, or whatever he's going to do. He said he might have it sold, just the way it is, so let's just get the doors unlocked. Get back in there in the van. I know a lot of y'all probably going to get mad about me stripping the seats out of the van, but it's okay. It's not running right now. We're going to pull the seats out. When we get a camshaft in it and all that stuff, get it going, we will put everything back in, guys. Because... I can't wait to drive out of van. I just dig it. I do. So let's uh get the doors open and get to work. Oh yeah, I ain't got to open the toolboxes. Yay. Well, we got the doors open. Lay a little bit of light in here. Some fresh air. Might say Tyler's old tick turd Tahoe still in here. Yeah, I'm still looking up. Well, they be looking down too. What the snakes? But uh, yeah, let me show y'all some more stuff. Got the going clipper. Got these lights here. To go on the running boards. Eventually. But uh, yeah, we're going to get the seats out of this old thing today. We're going to be pulling. Turn y'all around and get some light on the subject. How about that? We're going to be pulling this seat out and that seat out. Leaving the front seats. Because they're the same seats. Uh, and of course the bed back there putting clipper today that's the plan anyway i mean it's gonna be so nice to have a seat let me just well let me show y'all something guys 
like I said, I know some of y'all probably gonna get mad. Oh, he's just stripping the van, never gonna do it, whatever. That's not the case. Yeah, we gotta get a dozer down here. So if anybody's watching this video has got a dozer as close to me, hit me up. But uh let me show y'all what I'm sitting on every day, okay? That's what I'm sitting on every day. And hey, look at that. Let's get some good seats in here. Yeah, we're gonna change the blind out the partition right there. Probably gonna use the van put in here. Cause it matches all the all that good crap. Yep, yep, yep. Make it look good. So I'm gonna get in the toolbox, get tools, start getting ripping seats out. Probably have y'all on time lapse on now for most of it, so let's get to it. I know I done said that ten times, but you know, I'm just kinda slow, okay? I take my time. Holy cow, y'all should have seen that. Look at that. What in the world? But yeah, then after we get the seats changed, we'll go ahead and fix the heater hose, uh, the heater cord, bypass it. And then get the cab lights on. That's the plan for the day, guys. All right, y'all. Just got one seat undone here. Got a little brown crap on here. Somebody had their foot on it. But uh, I hope that's what that is. Yeah, we got this one seat undone. We're gonna get it poured out. Set y'all down over here. Y'all probably can't see me, but still. This old seat pulled out. There we go. Got it off the swivel base. We're not using a swivel base, we're just using a seat. Probably gonna need them washers right there. Space it up. I always kind of tilt it up back a little bit. You know, go ahead and get that lay back. But yeah, uh, then I'm going to have to pull the seats out of the Clifford once I get that one out. And then I'm going to have to put that in the back. Clean it up real good. And then put the front seats in. Won't be able to get that into the back with the front seats in. So, not enough room, you know. And I got to see what it takes to unbolt that. Looks like a torque bit. Everything's coming along pretty good. Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt this other seat, do a time lapse on it, and uh then we'll get the seats out covered. Yep. Find a good place to set, y'all. Maybe right there. Hey y'all, I got the driver's side seat out of old Clifford. Let me uh it's hot in there. That's bad. I got a shop and I got to work on my truck outside because Tyler's crap still in there. But anyway, let me show y'all uh, the difference between them. That's the driver's side seat out of Clifford. That's what I had to set on every day. So, don't get mad at me taking the seat out of the... That must be whoever had this truck built for him, Robert. But, I mean, look how good it looks on the back side. Now, let me show you all the seat we're putting in it. Remember, that's the seat I've been sitting on. Now, this is the seat I'm going to be sitting on. It's a lot higher right here. I don't think the back is as high. It may be. And it's got the armrest. And it lays all the way back, which is good. Gonna look good in there, guys. Not only that, it's gonna ride a lot better. Cause I'm not sitting on this no more. I'm gonna go ahead and set this one in. Let's see what it looks like. All right, y'all, I got that one sitting on the driver's side. You can see the difference. Just and it's sitting here across the seat. This is the new one. So much better. So, so much better. And that's the old one over there. 
the armrest don't come up as far or whatever but this is so comfortable i just said i ain't got it bolted down but i just hopped up in there and it is so comfy in here you set up a whole lot better in the truck you can actually see before you was actually looking through the stern wheel now you can see over it because the way it sets up and if i put them washers underneath the back where it lays down because it's like this if i put the washers under the back like they had in the van it will actually raise it up to where you can actually see a little better but i like it just the way it is i do so let's get away and get the other seat pulled out of the uh, van and then we'll get that seat ripped out and then we'll get everything out of the back of this truck and get the bed poured out of the van and get the bed in here it's gonna be so much better guys of course we still gotta clean these seats up they're nasty dusty but uh that is better so let's go pull the other seat out all right y'all i got the front seats in we can't put the couch bed seat whatever it is in yet because uh it's torque bit the bolts are t30 and mine broke so but i'm gonna go ahead and now we gotta bypass the heater core so we ain't looking antifreeze on the floorboard but uh i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all this interior guys you're gonna love it yeah we put a little extra in there too a little extra this truck didn't have cup holders in it before now it does so y'all check it out video right here guys uh not gonna bore y'all with bypassing here to court today so oh yeah it's on this side now but first i think i might lay back oh man this thing lays all the way back love it oh crap got the curtain on my head we still gotta change the curtain out all that good stuff but uh yeah y'all go ahead and hit that like button subscribe button I share a button help these videos get out guys come on let's get more subscribers I do this for y'all but uh yeah that's gonna be it for old Clifford today so like I said I'm gonna bypass the hitter core gonna get it knocked out gonna do it off camera but it's starting to come together we're starting to get stuff in there I'm gonna put these old seats in the shop that way I can get them recovered that way when we get the van going put the seats back in the van I got to find me one of them beds to keep in here permanently. But that's it, guys. 
See y'all later. See y'all next time. Y'all let me know if you like the interior. Oh, and uh, I'm want, uh, there's no carpet in it because I ripped all the carpet out. But the front floorboard, back floorboards, I'm doing hardwood. It's flat. Front floorboard's got a little curve to it. Let me know what y'all think. I'm thinking about the top part of the curve, like this right here. Do the hardwood, and then the curved part, and down in the floorboard, do the uh, diamond plate aluminum. Let me know what y'all think. Leave a comment. Later, guys.